So this is the last lecture in the introduction of this course. And from here on out, we're going to be working through the administrator study guide. And so I mentioned before that this course is structured to go through the different sections of this study guide so that as you go through this course, you will have covered everything that should be on the exam. That way, you can rest assured that when you're taking the exam, there should be no surprises or anything that you've never heard of before. That's the worst feeling in the world. Well, not the worst feeling in the world. I've led a sheltered life. But it is not a good feeling when you're taking the exam. So without further ado, these lectures in this section are organization setup, user setup, global user interface, security and access, standard and custom objects, sales cloud applications, service cloud applications, activity management, chatter, data management, content and folder management, reports and dashboards, workflow automation, desktop and mobile administration, and finally, App Exchange, which is the app store for the Salesforce platform. We'll dive deep into each section of the study guide. I like to call it a talk through and then a walk through. I'll be talking through some of the concepts that will be covered and then walk you through the platform and show you the platform in action so that you're not just staring at me the whole time, but you'll see the platform in action through some screen captures as well. At the end of these lectures, I'll have exercises for you to work through, and that will take you through some of the steps as far as signing up for your own free Salesforce account and then filling that account up with data and customizing some objects, creating some fields, and creating some functionality on the platform. The goal at the end of this class is that you will have had hands-on experience with each item in the study guide so that not only will you be familiar with or heard of the different sections of the study guide, but you will have actually done these things in a hands-on way and have experience. For this study guide, you can Google Salesforce Certified Administrator Study Guide. I'll also make the study guide available in the resources of the course. And so be looking for that, download it. Towards the tail end of the study guide, I want to highlight that there is a sample exam. There's five sample exam questions in the study guide. I encourage you to download the study guide and take this sample exam. The sample exam questions will give you a good idea of where you're at currently at the start of the course. So next we're going to get you set up with your own Salesforce account and get you started in the first section of the study guide.